Hello, hello, hello. Officially now, I can say that it is December 14th. Happy December 14th, everybody. And that means it is day 14 of our ultimate challenge, 25 days of Christmas edition. So I am absolutely exhausted, but I just finished my final, final exam. Now, all I have to worry about are like four papers, but I think I can do it. So I am finally starting to catch up with everything all over again, which is great. We are going to start with the tea and the beauty box and then move on over to a DIY. All right, on to day 14, December 24. I just said 14, 24. That just shows like where my mind is today because of just how incredibly, 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 incredibly exhausted I am. Oh wait, what do we got today? Oh, it's another, another spicy pumpkin. Haven't we already had this one? Green tea with cinnamon, ginger, cinnamon cloves, Chinese nutmeg and black pepper. Yeah, we've already had this one. Guys, whoa. This just repeats itself. Look, pomegranate, pomegranate, ginger, nutmeg, clove star anise. Uh, huh. Oh, what a bummer. You know, this was just like such an interesting thing. I guess I just don't need to even like review them anymore. I can just have them on my own because clearly it's stuff that we've already had. I don't know how to feel about that. Okay, so this is as much as the puzzle I did. I really only got these three pieces here, but I think these are supposed to be down here. This one's probably gonna be here. This goes here, but I didn't wanna move them all around until I get to those day of the advent calendar. So this is what we have so far. Once I have day 15 open tomorrow, this will be a little bit different, but I don't think I'm gonna keep reviewing the advent calendar because it's the exact same thing that I have already gone over. I'm bummed. On to a positive note, we definitely do have a different item for December 14th, so let's get on to this. <gasps> oh, yes, 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 yes. I can't even exp like begin to explain how happy I this makes me, you know why? because my friend accidentally took my blender with her. And now I'm blenderless, until now, that is. Okay, okay, so I cannot seem to find it on here, but we do know that I now have a new blender sponge, which just makes me so, so happy. You have no idea. Okay. So today's DIY, I am super excited for. Um, I am celebrating my last day of school by making fudge. But not just any fudge. No, 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 mm-mm, mm, -mm. mm, -mm. Not just any fudge. Today, or tonight, I should say, I am making eggnog fudge. Why? Well, this wasn't originally my plan for the day. Originally, my plan was to make some really cute ornaments, but I scratched that few days ago when I um, had eggnog at work. I realized that eggnog is like delicious and I have to do something with eggnog and originally I was gonna make homemade eggnog, but I wasn't sure how long that was gonna take. It was hard to find a good looking recipe. So I decided to opt out of that and go along with just making eggnog fudge. So I'm gonna give you a little bit of a background information on the DIY that I am following and we're gonna go ahead and make it. All right. So the blog that I am using for my eggnog fudge is Baking Beauty. So I found this, this was actually a um, recipe that was saved on one of my Pinterest boards. If you follow me on Pinterest, you'd say I have like quite a lot of boards, quite a lot of recipes. And I think this one was on my winter one because I have a whole, like I have seasonal Pinterest boards for things that I want to do that season. And so I think I just opened winter and there it was because this is something very seasonal and it would make a good gift. 
It takes only five minutes, apparently. It only takes five minutes to prep and about like 10 minutes to cook. And then that's about it. So hopefully this will go fast, but knowing my luck, oh, knowing my luck, this is not going to be that easy. Just because, you know, Annie, I'm Annie and nothing comes easy to me, but that's okay. I like challenges. So this does ask for quite a lot of ingredients as you will be seeing. I went to Whole Foods after my exam and bought everything that I needed that I didn't have. It's a bit of a challenge to find marshmallow fluff in Whole Foods. Well, not marshmallow fluff, marshmallow cream in Whole Foods. But I did it and I was happy. All right, let us get started with the DIY. There's nobody here right now, so this might be very good. So I'm here to get ingredients for fudge. I need a lot of stuff, including eggnog. Yep. Oh yeah, still nobody's here. This is, this is gonna be cool. Here we go. All right, I need some baking ricotta because I've been using it all up. I'm gonna grab two because why not, right? Might as well. They're only a dollar each. I also need white chocolate chips, but I'm not sure where those are. I see ginger chips, some sweet, ah, white chocolate. Here we go. Got it. All right, so it has taken me literally like 10 minutes to try and find this aisle. I don't know why, it's just that I kept getting really busy, so I'd skip over it, not thinking that anything I need would be here. But alas, I finally found it, and I have my marshmallow cream. They only have one kind here, but that's okay. Because it's exactly what I needed. Seven ounces of oxygen. Okay, so now looking down at everything we have here, I'm basically all set. I'm just gonna grab myself some dinner, and then the eggnog, and then we are going to go home. All right, we are all done! Finally, now I can go home and make this. I think I just like mildly became best friends with my cashier because she's like, oh my God, marshmallow cream. And I was like, yeah, I um, have never done anything with marshmallow cream in my life. And I'm making a YouTube video tonight. Oh, this guy's looking at me. <laughs> in which I needed marshmallow cream. So she just got super excited, eggnog fudge. And I was like, yeah, eggnog fudge. So who knows, maybe she'll see this. Probably not, but maybe. And she was also like just really cool and nice and friendly. Okay, buckling up. Car is locked. Emergency breakdown. I'm gonna start driving. See you at home. All right, so there are quite a few ingredients we need for this. We need half a cup of butter, three quarters of a cup of eggnog, two cups of white sugar, two cups of white chocolate chips, seven ounces of marshmallow fluff, two teaspoons of vanilla extract, and freshly ground nutmeg. All right, our first step is to Spray a nine by nine inch foiled pan to cooking spray. Boom, check. All right, this should take us 15 minutes, no longer, what's next? In a medium saucepan, combine butter, sugar, and eggnog and bring it to a boil. All right, so here you can see I am finally starting to get everything to melt down. It did take quite some time to get to the boiling point. Um, one thing that was really annoying was actually trying to get the um, butter to melt. You can see at multiple points during this entire thing, I'm like pressing the butter up against the sides of the saucepan to try and get them to smush and melt faster. Um, when I finally did get the mixture to boil, the next challenge was getting the um, mixture to 234 degrees because that's what the next step was. This is why it went from probably what was supposed to take like 15 minutes to taking about 25 minutes because for whatever reason my mixture just did not want to boil. But um, yeah. So you can just see, I just remember I was getting so, uh, so, 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 so aggravated. I was like, why is my oven not working? Why is my stove top not working? And I splashed myself with the sugar at one point, which is quite a terrifying experience because sugar burns are very, very, very painful. So it wasn't that fun. Anyways, I finally got it to 234 degrees and then I added the two cups of the um, white chocolate chips. I just continued to mix it until they became a lot smoother. It did take, again, 
a lot more time than I expected it to. Seeing how it said it was only going to take like 15 minutes, but I was like, eh, you know, whatever. I was listening to Christmas music, talking with my family, so I didn't really care. It was really like nice, and it was really fun to kind of like watch it change over time. Anyways, so the next thing I did after that, it was had in the seven ounces of marshmallow fluff. I've literally never used marshmallow fluff in my life. My boyfriend gives me marshmallow fluff sometimes, but I'm never really the one to touch it. So this is the first time I've ever like come in contact with marshmallow fluff. It was really fun. Oh, then I added two teaspoons of um, vanilla extract, and I just continued to like let it mix and mix. Eventually, I, I added the nutmeg as well, and then poured it into its little container thing pan. Yeah. So you can see here, this is the end result. Um, this was pretty fun. It was, it took quite some time to do, but it was really nice and, re and relaxing to do. Yeah, let's, um, let's, let's taste it now. Okay, everybody, welcome back to my humble abode. Um, so I finished making the fudge last night and now I'm going to sample it. Kind of like took a corner piece that just like fell apart so it's not like a perfect square. Um, so this is supposed to be eggnog fudge. Okay, so it smells like eggnog. It's a little bit on the soft side. I'm used to fudge being a little bit harder. I wonder what went wrong there. You ready? Here we go. Oh, wow. That is sweet. This is very sweet. I like the eggnog though, but wow. Wow, that's so sweet. Holy moly. You know, when something's like really sweet to the point it like burns your throat, that's what I'm getting here. Let's just, let's try, let's try this chunk. Oh, look how cute. See, this is like the perfect size piece of fudge right here. That's, that's all you need. That's all you need is just this much. And then you're set. You really get the eggnog with that one. My throat is definitely feeling the burn from the um, amount of sugar. Let's see, so what were all the sweet things? We got the eggnog, sugar, vanilla, um, white chocolate chips, and marshmallow fluff. This is sweet, like overpoweringly sweet, but also really good. I think I'm just gonna slowly but surely snack on this piece for like the day, for the entirety of the day because I don't think I'm gonna need more than this. Goodness. Okay guys, so that is all that I have for you today. I wanna say thank you so much for watching my channel. As always, feel free to like this video and comment down below. Also feel free to subscribe to my channel so you can stay updated with the 25 Days of Christmas challenge and other videos that are to come. I hope you have a great day and I will see you tomorrow. Bye. Uh-huh, my hair is stuck in a ponytail. Ah, what did I do? Oh, because I have two ponytail holders in. What? Ah, uh, okay.